For all of you panel obsessed people out there like ourselves, we have something that will make your life so much easier and it's the infinite extensions organizer. And as you can imagine from the name, it does organize all of your extensions into something that just keeps your interface super clean. Whether you have our tools and extensions or if you have other ones from our friends, it doesn't matter. This is for you and I think you're gonna love this. So let's just jump in and get started. You'll notice here on the left, hand side we have this <laughs> extension organizer open um, and I have this image here by Isaac Quesada and uh, it's just for visual demonstration we're not gonna do any retouching on it today but what you'll notice is that I don't have any of the other panels open at the moment so here's how it works I have the organizer open and if I want to access infinite color I click on it it opens it up if I close it it closes it. If I click on infinite Luma, it opens that up. If I click on it, it closes that. The beauty of this is that if I want both of them open, I click on both of them and they both open. But if you notice, the position of the panels are retained. So no matter where you put them, if I put them over here or if I like do it over here, like overlap them and click on Luma and color, it can easily remember where it is. It also remembers specifically what monitor it's on too. So if you have two monitors and you wanna place them all on a separate one, this is a good like commander kind of situation here going on. So this is super, super handy. And also, it also works for some of our other panels that we have installed on this machine. Now, what you'll notice is that typically if you're trying to get to extensions, it is a problem because you have to go to window extension and then go to the extension that you're looking for. And that can be a little bit of a pain. So this is just a quick access to the extensions in Photoshop, but making everything super customizable in a way that Photoshop just cannot do at the moment. And what I mean by that is if we go to our settings, you'll notice that we can actually rename them. So if I want to call this a color, and if I want to call this like cats, I don't know why you call it cats, but let's just say you named it something you you remember something by because you know words are, are like that. It's easy to remember something if you call it something that you can remember. Obviously, I'm not gonna call it cats, I'll just call it radiance, but give you a good example. Uh, I'm gonna uncheck settings now and you'll notice that it renames them. Even cooler, if you don't want the icons, I can just sh uncheck show app icon and there you go. It's just a single word itself and then I can compress it like this, bring it over, and it makes it a really nice and clean, simple interface that accesses the things that you want in a hurry with, while just making it really nice and simple. I'm just stumbling over my words because I'm excited about how fun this is. Even cooler is you can also um, temporarily hide the ones that you don't want. So maybe you're not looking for radiance at the moment, uh, visualizer, keep Luma on, I'll just hide Unify for now. And I can also order them differently. So if I wanna bring Radiance on top and color at the bottom. With these changes applied, let's exit the settings menu here. And now it's in the order in which I have placed them. So this is great. And now I can also uncheck that. And if I wanna rename and bring back the name of the original panel, if I forget it, I just hold Option or Alt and I can kind of just you know click on the names of the icons themselves and it comes back to the original name that the developer gave it. So it's easy for you to use whatever name you want, but if you forget it, it's not such a big deal. The last thing that I wanna mention here really quickly is you can also, aside from having in this format, I can have it docked to the left you'll see the blue line that shows up, it's gonna dock. I can change it to show app icon and I can bring it here to the left. And now all the app icons are just like they would normally if you had all the extensions open. But this way you don't have to fuddle around with the apps um, in natively in Photoshop. It does it for you automatically, it's customizable in case you prefer to have words or icons or both if you so choose to. And it just makes things look so, so clean. Well, I hope you like this demonstration and I do believe this is for everyone, even if you have a few, because our family of Infinite Tools is just growing and this is our solution to make things look really, really clean. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Be sure to join our groups at Infinite Tools or Infinite Color Panel on Facebook and tell us what you think about this and be a part of the community. If you, if you have none of our tools, we do want you there to show off your work and show us what you're proud of doing and creating.